अमेरिका की कराची एयरपोर्ट के करीब खुदकुश हमले की मजम्मत तर्जुमान अमरीकी महकमा खारजा मैथ्यू मिलर ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में कहा कि हमें जानों के ज़िया और ज़ख्मी होने वालों की इतला पर बहुत दुख है दहशत गर्दी से मुतासर होने वालों से ताजियत करते हैं पाकिस्तान में पुरम इजतबा और आज़ादी राय की हमायत करते हैं पाकिस्तान में मुजाहन से मुतालबा करते हैं कि पुरम रहें पाकिस्तानी हुकूमत से इंसानी हकूक के एहतराम का मुतालबा करते हैं अमरीकी कमीशन के भारत पर पाबंदियां आयद करने और तशवीशनाक ममालिक में शामिल करने के मुतालबे के सवाल पर मैथ्यू मिलर ने कहा कि महकम खारजा ने भारत पर कमीशन की रिपोर्ट देखी है जायजे के बाद वजी खारजा ने भारत को तशवीशनाक ममालिक में शामिल नहीं किया terrorist attack in pakistan this time uh, a suicide bomber targeted chinese engineers at karachi airport um multiple deaths and injuries any thoughts uh, any condolences we condemn the deadly attack near karachi's international airport and we are deeply saddened by the reported loss of life and injured victims we extend our heartfelt uh, felt condolences to those impacted in pakistan as around the world we support freedom of expression uh, peaceful assembly and association we call on protesters to demonstrate peacefully and refrain from violence and at the same time we call on pakistani authorities to respect human rights and fundamental freedoms and to ensure respect for pakistan's law and laws and constitution and work to maintain law and order the so us commission on religious freedom just released a new report on india and asking state department uh, to impose sanctions on some individuals and entities uh, and also designate india as cpc any comments on that Yeah so I we've um, we've seen the report uh, US uh, CIRF is an independent commission that provides policy recommendations to um the executive branch as well as to congress it's not a part of the state department or um a part of the executive branch i think as you know at, after careful review in december of last year the secretary assessed that india did not meet the threshold for designation as a country of particular concern um but we continue to carefully monitor the religious freedom situation in every country including india